Hey everybody, my name is Cap, and I have a Minecraft video for you here. Uh, I'm going to do this more like a episode style commentary than a look what I built sort of thing. Um, that's all I've done really. I did a couple tours of my cave system, but mostly I've just done videos showing what I've done off camera. So now I'm going to do a little bit of adventure style while doing a commentary. Um, if you saw my other video of my towers I built, you probably noticed how much material it took to make those. Well, I wanted to show you kind of what I found and what I did just to be able to get that material. Um, for starters, I built a minecart system, kind of goes down around and way off into the distance here, just to make it easier to transport supplies back and forth. So, fire that bad boy up and just let it go do its thing. It'll take it all the way to the end where I was last working. This area right here is not new. I did kind of level it off and closed off some of the water so I stopped falling in there. But other than that, um, this whole area is not new. Now, this area back here, I had just barely opened up when I started building the towers. This huge hallway here, I carved it out manually. Um, yeah, it did take a little while, but fortunately most of it was just rock, so it went through pretty quickly. A little bit of sand here and there, or not sand, sorry, dirt. But anyway, um, in the process, I opened up this massive cave system. Um, I'm sure you can tell that there's torches and everything already in here. Yes, I've already run through here, but it was mostly just to throw up the torches so it would be pre-lit while I was working some more. But you can see the resources. I haven't mined them. They're all still sitting where they were. There's some gold and coal, some redstone. Um, I left it all here so it would be part of the adventure. Now it loops around in multiple places. But anyway, um, little mine carts here, like I said, help me carry stuff back and forth. I got some extra picks and furnaces and extra carts here and there just so I can go back and forth a little easier. But this makes it easier for me to gather large quantities of stuff without having to go all the way back to my main chest. And I don't want to have to make multiple chests just because I end up forgetting where I put stuff. So anyway, let's take off through here and see what we can find. I did find some diamond, and I went ahead and gathered that so I could make another pick. I need to make another shovel, because it's long since gone as well. As I said, this cave system is just giant. Um, every time I turn the corner, I crawl up in some new area up there. I've never been up in there before, but I'll hold off. Well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and go see what's up there. Okay, so let's see what we got going on up here. I'm going to need some torches, make sure I'm not going to get hit by something. Just throw that in there just so I can see what's in there. Uh, looks like it didn't really open up to too much, so probably not a lot going to spawn in here, but I'd still rather not die and have to come all the way back over here, because it is a little ways from my spawn point. Go ahead and collect this iron ore here. Iron's always good to have. Okay, okay, let's see here. A little bridge so I can get over here. And let's see. But then another dead end. But here's some more iron. Yeah, torch is not going to work too well We're carving this out. Let's try a real tool. Definitely one of the drawbacks to using the mouse versus the number pad is you scroll past what you're trying to hit a lot of times. I did have to remap my thrill key from Q to Y because more than one occasion I would be walking along, see something that what was that that. I didn't want to fight and end up throwing a weapon at it or, you know, accidentally losing something important. A good friend of mine accidentally threw a big chunk of diamond into the lava because he hit the wrong button once, so... Ooh! Creeper! Wait, no, that's a zombie. Just go ahead and... He can't do much, so we'll just take him out the easy way. A torch in there. Well, that goes back a ways, too. All right, let's go see what's down there. Oh, okay, no, it doesn't. Never mind. Another dead end. Go ahead and grab this coal real quick. 
have a ton of this just sitting around, but you know, coal is definitely one of those good things to have a lot of. Let's put my gold in here. Don't want to lose it. Because that would not be cool. Definitely don't want to lose diamond or redstone. I've been finding a lot of redstone lately. I mean, there's some more right here. But definitely not cool. But yeah, it's definitely not a good idea when uh, you lose material. It's just a good material. If you've been playing this game very long at all, then I am pretty much guarantee you dropped some important stuff somewhere. Or iron. Let's see. Get some coal, too. And by the way, if y'all uh, have any requests of, you know, how to build something, uh, obviously there's forums and wikis and all that other jazz to teach you how to build stuff. But if you want me to show you in my videos of how I actually built some of the stuff, um, as far as crafting goes, like the cards or the track or any items I'm using or something, let me know. I don't mind doing that. Um, I learned it by reading the wiki or seeing it in somebody else's videos. That's pretty much how you have to learn. Um, I heard Knox say, what's going on up there, that he's planning on doing some sort of like uh, in-game tutorial kind of thing where it'll tell you what you have versus what you can make with what you have and I think that'd be kind of nice but in another instance I think it might kind of take away from a little bit of the adventure style of it having to try and figure it out let's see that way y'all can see a little bit better nothing coal so yeah I don't think it's a bad idea for people to brand new to the game but like I said part of the fun is kind of figuring out whether by reading a wiki or just playing with the crafting system and finding out how to do stuff. Oop, there we go. What do you guys think on that idea of uh, making it so that the in-game system will tell you what you can make versus having to look it up or figure it out or whatever? Let me know what you think about that idea. Okay, creeper. That is a creeper. Let's try and get him to not blow up my cart. That would be cool. Die. Uh oh, missed. Yay, dropped a little gunpowder. I have enough of this to make quite a bit of TNT, but I have yet to find an area where I just feel necessary to blow to pieces. Other than for fun, of course. I hear something growling at me. Where's that at? Oh, there it is. Uh, drop some feathers. I still haven't quite figured out why zombies drop feathers. I mean, I know chickens do, but it seems kind of weird to have a zombie drop a feather. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it's a little strange. It's a good little area. Let's go see what's in here. Looks like I've kind of been in part of it before. Okay, it's just falling off, shall we? Good thing it wasn't very deep. Looking like just diving in with both feet to see what's down there. Oh, that's where the light's coming from. There's something up there. Is that gravel? Nope, it just looked dark. But yeah, you can see quite a bit of resources still yet to be mined. Got some more useless gold. I might have to just make some armor out of it because I have quite a bit just sitting around. Or I might just turn into some gold bricks and make a gold roller coaster or something silly. I don't know what else to do with it. Other than torches, I don't know what to do with redstone either because I don't have the skill to make some of these adding systems. Ooh, look, more diamond. Yay, diamond. Oh, only one piece. Maybe there's something behind this. Flint is always good for making some arrows.
a little more flint, a little bit more stuff to throw away. Basically just a bunch of stuff I can go throw in the incinerator. And if you haven't seen it, I have a video on my channel too about how to make an incinerator, which is great for just getting rid of a bunch of stuff like this, these random blocks of stuff you won't ever really use, or if you just have an abundance of something. The light in. Okay, let's try not to flood the cave though, shall we? Alright, you gonna behave? Alright. As long as you're not gonna pour out over here and kill me, that's fine. Yeah, talking to it helps. You gotta kinda coax it into not falling and burning your butt off, basically. So anyway, um, like I said, I'm gonna do this as kind of a episode one. Let's see if I can find my way back to the main area now. Where did that come from? I think that came from up there. Yeah, episode one. Stop growling at me. There we go. Okay. Go away. Headshot. So yeah, I'm going to stop the video here while I'm making my way back to the cart. See if I can swim through this water. And uh, leave a comment, uh, rate the video, and let me know what you think. Uh, give me some feedback and tell me what you'd like to see next. Um, other than that, I'm going to keep on working on this and I'll start working on episode 2 soon. See you later.